The one good thing about cooking the fish in the air fryer is that it has no smell. Oh, it still smells. Oh, <laughs> Jura says it still smells. Well, it doesn't it's smell as smell. much. No, it doesn't smell, smell as much. It smells as much. Yeah. Okay. I still smell it, but it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. What's this now? You're cooking without me? No. So what are you going to show us how to do today, babe? Hmm? What are you going to show us how to do today? Oh, we're going on. I'm going to show you guys how to fry fish in the air fryer. Awesome, awesome. So, the way I do it folks, I take a little bit of uh, oil. Mm -hmm. I guess you could use any oil you want, but I use um, what's olive oil. Olive oil. Olive By oil. the way, don't forget to pick up the books. And thank you to everybody who has been picking up their books. I'm building a website, you know. I'm gonna, you're going to be able to buy these books from a website soon. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you can know when I upload something else. And what else, Joe? Leave me a comment and give me a like. Okay, go ahead, baby. And remember, folks, buy the book. Why? Because that's the only way country Joe gonna eat. You <laughs> could buy fish. Okay, what kind of fish is this? Tell us what you've done to the fish already to prepare well, it. Already, Make sure they can see. Already clean it up and season it up. You could put any season you want on it. I put some pepper and salt. Okay, there's a whole bunch of numbers and letters on this camera screen that I don't know if y'all are seeing. It says record, right? Okay, I think they can, you can see. All right, so he washed it off with uh, vinegar first. Vinegar. Did it come the scale already? You no, have to, no, just get, you, just get, just come on go, um, guts. guts. So you have to scale it. You got to scale. So how you scale it? You took it outside. Took it outside. And go the next direction with the knife. knife and, Mm -hmm. yes. And then what are the put on it? Salt, pepper. Salt, pepper. Mm -hmm. um, Ricardo. Ricardo, if it looks you want red, to. Yeah. Because I have some. No, mix. not no. If you want to, you. It looks red. Yeah, you could put that on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have some mix that I have there before. So, so he made his on. little blend, like what Auntie Fee used to do. He made his little blend, and you rubbed it on. Right. And then you scored it. Right. right? Okay. But if you mm -hmm. don't have all that kind of stuff, you just use. Pepper mm -hmm. and salt, and that's good. That's the salt, the one we used to be good. Okay. Okay, now we're All right. gonna take it, just pop it in a little oil like that. Let me grab another camera, guys. It's just me and Joe right now because the kids are all working in their rooms. Did you see? I just pop it in some oil. I'm gonna put it down in here. So you just roll the whole piece of fish in there. Mm -hmm. And he's using the small air fryer that Joshua and Jada owns because he doesn't want to do it in the foodie. Mm. Joe doesn't like my foodie, guys. Why don't you like my foodie? Well, it's not that I don't like it, just that. It's too big? Mm, too big, it's just that. You don't like it, just say you don't like it. It's okay for you not to like the foodie because you love me. And that's good. <laughs> why is that funny? You guys, why is that funny? Because I said he loves me. All of fish there are fitting at that? And the three pieces. I There's only it. three pieces that's gonna fit. So Depend he's putting two tail on the head. The size of the, of the fish. If it's a bigger fish, maybe it's only two you, pieces. You know, I, I see one time Steve Harvey say he don't eat no fish that have the head. He don't want the, the eye to be watching. Like, you so bougie. You spoiled. Okay, people, see? You know what? We're going to take it over here. Look at here. Pop it in here. Okay. Um, put it for my, my hand. Is, put it's it dirty? Turn, turn. Wait. Plug it in first. Plug it in. Okay. It's on, uh, no, this is an easy air fryer because it's um, it's analog. On, it's, on, uh, um, it's on 400. 400. It's on 400. Mm -hmm. Leave it on 400? Yeah. And then give it a much time? 30. 30 minutes. Where's the thing that's coming? I'm, I'm looking for the cut. See okay. the cut right here, guys? So 30 minutes at 400. You guys see it, right? See the cut right here? That's 400. And that's 30 minutes. And just let it there for the, for, the, for the 30 minutes. Okay. And you have some, and then you go have fried fish. All we need now is a Johnny cake. Johnny cake. Bunga la bunga and boom. <laughs> you so, guys, uh-huh. No, I was only kidding. I said we're going to save the fish until Saturday morning. So we're going to fry fish and Johnny cake. Just go buy more fish. You have Biden bugs? What? 
<laughs> Don't tell people that. You guys, we didn't get our Biden box yet. That's what the kids call it. We didn't get that yet. And every time I go to that IRS website that says, uh, get my payment, it says that we have no information <laughs> to give you because either we don't have enough information on your payment status or you don't qualify. I know I qualify because I'm poor as hell. <laughs> so, so it's me, Joe, and Jory. It keeps getting that. We're not even checking on Jada's because Jada never got any of the stimuluses before, but now she should get it because she's our adult dependent for 2019. We haven't filed taxes yet for 2020. So we think all that money is going to come to us, to me and Joe, and then we have to disperse it out to her, which is fine. We all desperately need it. We all have bills to pay. It's not like we can buy anything fun. And by the way, by the way, the fridge is okay. Shh, 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 shh. The fridge. The freezer just cracked open. There was a bunch of snow that was in it. We think somebody left the door open. But on the fridge itself, there's a part of the, um, the rubber ceiling thing for the door that's bent. We don't know how it got bent like that. Honestly, Joe said he was going to take a heat gun and he was going to like heat it to unbend it. Mm -mm. Joe is not touching no heat gun near my fridge because right now it's working. The, the freezer is set to a zero, which it should be. It was set to like six all days, so then in eight, I think it was going through its normal defrost thing. He not touching that because next, you know, he burn up that, that, um, that sealant, the rubber sealant, whatever that thing's called. And then I don't have no fridge. Mm-mm. So my friend said the fridge heard that Biden bucks are coming, so the fridge trying to act up. No, I, I rebuke that. <laughs> All right, guys, we have nothing to do but go sit on the couch and wait for half hour. We'll be right back in 30 minutes. Oh, by the way, look at my outfit. I don't have on the boots right now. But me and Joe made this outfit together and I have a whole fashion show with all the couture stuff what? that we made at Miss Bear Patrick. I'll put it in the description. The Why don't you stop show off? I'm showing off my outfit. I'm proud of my outfit. Okay? We have a whole fashion show that you guys have to go see at Miss Bear Pantry. You mm -hmm. show, off this, show off all the clothes and stuff, mm -hmm. but you don't like to show me off. I showed him off just now. Huh? Because said, come baby, let me show you off to the people. Oh my God. Okay, folks. He's a whole damn Libra. <laughs> 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 we'll be back, guys. So it just dinged. That's we'll 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's your... Ooh, see? Wow. <laughs> that looks legit, Joe. Don't even have to turn it over again. That's it. Will you turn it over, though? I, I, I use it a light, too. Okay. You do, he says it's pretty much done. It's done. But he's going to flip it over to the other side and give it, what, 10 minutes? About 10 minutes, but look, see, it's done. You can, I mean, if you don't want to, you can see, that's it. That's good. It's not going to get too dry if you do that, though, right? No. Okay. So give it 10 minutes. Give it another 10 minutes. That's it. But you see how good that, you could eat it like that, but I want it crispy. I, just, I mean, that is, that, that one. That was done. It's crispy on one side and the other side is not as crispy. So that's why you're giving it 10 minutes on the yeah, other side, right? somewhat okay. like that. So and he still has these ones to put in and he'll, he's going to do the same thing. 30 minutes and then flip it over in 10 minutes and he fried some plant in that looks so good. So we have visitors today, right Joe? Mm -hmm. We have visitors today? Okay, visitors. Cindy visited from New York and she came to visit her sister. The sister, uh, her sister didn't already have the vaccine. Cindy didn't have the vaccine. Me, Joe, and Joshua don't have the vaccine, so we all wore masks until it was time to eat. Then we all separated. <laughs> and then we tried to take a picture. You guys, you gotta do what you gotta do in this pandemic, huh? You guys notice what he's doing, right? He's getting, Seth, take a look. He's getting the, the um, oil all inside the fish. Mm -hmm. So you can fry from the in. I want to steal a piece of plantain so bad that it's hot. <laughs> I think it's good. Let's calm down, let's cool down. Okay guys, we'll be back when he's done frying all of these so we can taste. Joe never remembers not to go wash his hand before I'm done. Joe. Okay. You can't pour water while I'm no, talking. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm used to all these things. Uh, you I'm, forgot we're running a whole show from right here. Right now, I'm, I'm working on hunger right now. You always do. I swear you always look like I starve you. The hell? <laughs> you ready to eat? 
Oh, yeah. I ate ceviche. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for this. We'll be back, guys. So Joe said we're not waiting for the end mm. for the other two pieces to cook because he hungry. Mm -hmm. I just put the other two pieces in, people. What's all this you have on your rice? You made pepper sauce? Yeah. Huh? Okay. So. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Did we tell them what kind of fish it was? Yeah, snapper. I don't know if you tell them, but this is snapper. Red, red snapper, right? Mm -hmm. Red snapper. Okay. And a lot of people are eating fish now because it's Lent, right? So they eat seafood on Fridays. And then when Good Friday rolls around, which is going to be like the first part of April, or maybe the ending of March, because I think Easter is the second of April? I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But in any case, you need to know how to make the fish healthy, right? Let me grab a fork, baby. So, did you guys go check out the um, Passion Show yet? I'll put a little snippet in the video at the end. Stay to the very end because I'll put, I'll, I'll put a little snippet so you guys can see what you're missing. I mean, I'm out of my element doing uh, try-ons and fashion shows and stuff like that because of the fact that I'm very self-conscious about my body, right? I'm confident about so many things. I can talk, I can sing, I can't dance. <laughs> but then to try on these clothes, but it's very therapeutic too, Joe because it gives me something to look forward to each week with my eating plan mm -hmm. that I can keep losing. I don't want no head. I'm like Steve Harvey. Nice and crispy, see? We are, can't take no photo shoot me to dig up this fish. Photo shoot? I'm gonna eat right now. I wanna get his skin. Damn it, hot. Just gotta take it out. And if you used to sit at all, they eat the thing hot, hot, like fat. I miss how to feed. It's better than fried fish. Huh? This is how I want you to do my fish from here on in. Why do you like fried fish? I don't like fried fish. Let me tell you why. With fish like this guy, you have the bone, you gotta squeeze the meat, right? To check for bones. I don't know how to put it in my mouth and just feel for bone in my tongue. I can't do that. So, um, I have to squeeze the meat, check for bone, and put it in and then when I see that oil drip out of it I just want to die I'm like I'm not eating especially how I had the bad gallbladder right this is awesome so usually when Joe cook fish for me he'll just kind of do it like a little bit of a fish tea and some coconut milk he doesn't fry it because I don't like the oil dripping out of the thing look at this look at this now I have to wait for the other head to done and then let me just show touch this wait for the head to be done then I'll put the piece together and go we'll take pictures, do my thumbnail. Meanwhile though guys, what you got to do? Subscribe, hit the bell, comment, like. You know the comments on the like matter more, right? And guess what guys, I'm heading towards 90,000. Mm, mm, I have 89,500 something. Mm, subscribe mm. folks. <laughs> tell your friend to subscribe. Tell your mama name. Tell your grandma, tell everybody. <laughs> so this is air fried red snapper that's what the video will be called all right so i'm going to roll the clip right now with a little piece of the um fashion show that i did the last video i put up today and then we'll roll the we'll roll the um the ending stuff all right thanks for watching guys first of all take a look at the skirt this is a fabric that carla sent and i made a three layered one two three ruffle skirt from comic cat creations page this fabric was very difficult to work with because even though it's light and flirty it frays a lot and I have on some brown tights that I've had for years this is the fabric Carla sent me this the one for the skirt here guys I'm fixing my shoe cam so did you like that excursion in the backyard the backyard looks good right so remember guys we are not buying this book because if you do the only people that are making money from that book are my ex distributor and Amazon pick up this book instead this is my Belizean cookbook it has hundred and twenty authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time hot off the presses this is my second cookbook guys it's called the pantry laid bare and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book alright hundred and eleven delicious dishes from basic ingredients Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks, guys! I like how he and me, my whole husband, and he and say, Who tell you you could eat? The way Ross that. This is